Hello everyone, today I'm playing with a little, what, what are these called, microscope. <laughs> wow Shannon, well done. I bought this off Amazon. I actually saw another video similar to this and it inspired me to grab a microphone. I mean, microscope. Oh, uh, what is wrong with me? I've actually looked at microscopes many a times just because I've always wanted one because I'm just one of those weird people that loves looking at stuff up close. But then I saw someone using it for skincare. I was like, holy shit, that's such a good idea. I can't remember who it was off the top of my head, but I will friggin' hunt the universe until I find the link and put it below for you so I can credit them. So I've got this plugged into my computer and we're going to try some skincare under a microscope today and see like a before and after to see if it actually works. I'm nervous. My skin is a little bit shit right now. Like I can feel the bumps on my nose. So the very first thing we will be trying are these pore strips I bought off Wish. Yeah, Wish. You guys already know I'm terrified of trying actual like cosmetics and skincare off Wish because like I don't know what the ingredients are whatsoever. There is nothing wrong with cosmetics made in China. I'm saying that right now. Like heaps of our favorite brands on the internet in Mecca and Sephora, heaps of stuff is made in China. But the difference is on Wish, those stores don't necessarily have to go through any kind of testing. There are some cowboys um, all over the world, not just China. But you know, this stuff's so cheap, you're like, mm, is that okay? Who knows? Could be fine, could be terrible, don't know. But pore strips, I figure, like, there's not too much that could go wrong. It's just a pore strip. So we're gonna test them out first. And then I've got another face mask I want to try under a microscope because it looks really fun and unique. So these pore strips here, I bought these off of the store called Skyscraper, just one word. I just bought 10 I think. You can actually buy them in 10, 20, 50 or 100 pieces. But the 10 piece, which I'm pretty sure this is just 10, these cost $2 and two dollars shipping so four dollars for ten not bad four strips aren't too expensive as it is um but they're still more expensive than that so if these work just as well as like my biore ones for example which i'm pretty sure are like i don't actually remember like 10 to 15 dollars a countdown something like that maybe these are only four dollars for ten so we're gonna try it out my skin is clean i've got no moisturizer on it i just used angels on bare skin in the shower so they literally came in a little post bag and then you have them wrapped in plastic this is how they look they feel just like the Biore ones. They've got a black side with plastic which you peel off and then the fabric side which I think goes, you know, up top. So I think the sticky side sticks to you, I hope. There are so many different pore strips on Wish as well, like from all sorts of different stores. We're just gonna have to wing it. So before we get started, let's try out the microscope all over my face. How cool is this? Like if you have a kid or something, like you should get one of these. It's so fun. I've just got it plugged straight into my iMac. I think it even has sound. Maybe not good sound, but it does. Anyway, so it's got a light. I don't actually know if you can turn that off or not. It's got a snap and zoom button. I don't know. You can plug it into an app on Android, but whatever. This is my nose right here. So you can see there's definitely some kind of like, I'm trying to like not move too quick. It's so zoomed in. See right there, all those like orange dots, like that looks like pus to me, like black haired, white heads. I don't know, so here's kind of more the, look how hairy my nose is. Do you want to see something real gross? Look at my beauty mark. Does that not look like a hairy nipple? Isn't that the most disgusting thing you've ever heard? I look up close, I can't see a single hair on that mole. I make sure, I look at that out, if there's like any kind of hair, I'll pull that off. But then, you look, I don't know what kind of magnification this is, but sorry, how revolting is that? I actually want to put it on my real nipple to see how disgusting that looks, but I mean, let's probably not do that on YouTube. This is the one I got, Jushin Digital Microscope. Okay, here we go, this is 1,000 times. I don't even know if I knew what I was buying when I bought it, I just bought it, but mine's 1,000 times, it's also got other amounts of times. So my problem areas are my nose, which I just showed you for the pore strip. Also my chin, I just want to do a quick little, like I have so many blackheads and pimples on my chin. Um, I get like real clogged pores down here. Ooh, there's something. I don't know what that is. What's that? That black dot. Oh my god. I just saw a black hair on my chin. My skin looks so dry. Look at that. It'd be so interesting to see how it looks after the face mask. Because that looks so bad. Like I said, I haven't moisturized or anything. So anyway. Here's the before of my actual nose. Down the sides of my nose too, right here. This is where I get real bad blackheads and things. You can see my veins are all popped right there. Look at all those blackheads. 
Oh my god. So yeah, I'll do befores and afters afterwards, but you can see the before and the other side too. Oh my god, that looks like a friggin' planet. Isn't that the weirdest thing you've ever seen? Oh, look at that one. Holy shit, dude. Yuck. And then on my actual nose, look at that. Okay. Why is there a black hair on my nose as well? It's concerning. So let's do this pore strip and see how well it really performs. Okay, so I've just wet this. I'm just gonna wet the area thoroughly. Then we're going to take one of the pore strips, which once again comes on a piece of plastic. Seems very thick. It's like that. Do I just, I'm assuming I stick it with the sticky side, right? It literally like feels like a piece of plastic. Like how does, I don't understand how this works. Like it feels like there's another piece of plastic that should be peeled off right here. I'm just seeing if I can peel it again. Cause like it feels not legit. Okay, I don't think I can peel it again. I've just cracked it. And it's like interesting. It's just like fabric with like this crusty black stuff. So I'm just gonna take another one. I'm just gonna press it all by wet nose until it kind of sticks. And I'll just leave it for like five minutes, five to ten minutes, like I normally would with oh this smells really petrolly. Like not in a good way. It smells chemically. Actually, do you know what it smells like? It's those paints that used to get in those big books of like art supplies as a kid. Oh my god, my nose is like dripping wet. So that's on, and while this is cooking, let's just go over the next mask I'm gonna use. Okay, so we have the Mochi mask. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is by Shiseido. And it looks so interesting and different to what I've used in the past. It's in this cute little like paper package, cute packaging, Japanese, it kind of inspired, made in Japan. And it's a silky smooth mochi mask and mochi is a Japanese dessert, I think, like some kind of rice dessert, I think. So this is a limited edition, it's at Farmers at the moment, $27 for this. A face mask that stretches like mochi. So I'm just gonna open it up and figure this out. You get a little stirry stick. So you have the powder for your face, do not ingest. Use on clean, dry skin, pour the powder in the cup and then add agent two, which is the liquid. When the powder and liquid are combined, take the mochi mask out and then quickly stretch the mochi mask out 10 times with both hands. Divide the mask in half while it's still warm. Set one piece aside. Hold down with one, oh, this sounds so complicated, wow. Hold down with one hand and spread the mask out while fitting with the other hand. Remove the mask after five minutes when the warming sensation stops or when the mask cools and the surface hardens. Peel it from the top downward. So why does it say divided into two? Are you supposed to like use both halves or do you use one half? Oh, okay. So one part's for your left cheek and one part's for your right cheek. Oh my God, cute. They did a marketing video, which is ASMR on how to use it. Okay guys, so the pore strip is pretty freaking hard so i'm going to peel this off now oh yeah that's sticking okay i thought it wouldn't stick because it was so plasticky feeling but it definitely does so i'm just peeling oh no it's left residue behind ow 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 all right looking straight at the strip there's definitely a whole lot of stuff stuck to it but i can't really see any huge blackheads stuck to it it's just kind of more like pass and dry skin. I'm just wiping off any excess off my nose. And then let's just have a quick look at this pore strip. So you can definitely see like, can you see all those little white bits? I'm pretty sure that's just like pus and dead skin. Like it's nothing major. That's off the tip of my nose. You can see definitely some, but it's just not very, like that's where it all peeled off my nose. I feel like it pulled off tiny little hairs off my nose. Like it just waxed my nose. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't look that exciting really. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm going to compare it to a fresh one. Here is a fresh pore strip that doesn't look very clean. That's how the fresh one looks. So you can definitely see the difference between like, you know, those little white bits, but my nose doesn't feel too different. It definitely feels a little bit softer, but there's still definitely some noticeable bumps on my fingertips. If we compare, you can still clearly see a whole lot of like blackheads and things right there. On the other side, so it didn't really do a very good job. Let me know if you want to see um, a different pore strip in this form of video and we'll see if it actually pulls them out because those ones did not really work very well at all. I definitely think the Biore ones are much better. I've used the Biore ones a lot. I thought I would get out my handy tool because one thing I find after I do any pore strip, even if it's a shit one, is when I use one of these tools afterwards, it usually does seem to extract really well. Now I'm assuming we're all gross here because otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video. But I don't know how I'm gonna like do this, like both things at once. 
What the heck's that? Is that my nostril? Ooh, that's up my nose. Okay. Sorry if this is really wobbly. Obviously, this is really difficult. Oh my god, sick. You can kind of see where I just pushed one out. <gasps> I have it on the like most far away setting I possibly can. It looks so much less impressive in real life, but how fun. I can't really do this on camera. I'm just gonna like empty a few and then like show you the after. Yeah, that's on my finger. <laughs> so here's the after on my skin. Um, I feel like it looks pretty much the same. You can kind of see where like a little bit of the pus has been pulled out, but yeah. Here's the other side. You can see that it's super dry skin as well. So yeah, pore strips are a no from me. Now let's try out the Mochi Mask. It's combining real quick. It looks like a clay if you show, if I show you closely. Oh my God, fun. So I guess it just self heats because it says when it's like warm or something. This, oh, it's so hot. Oh my God, cool. So now I'm supposed to stretch it. Oh my God, this is so cool. So it said 10 times, that's like four or five. It's like quite sticky. I feel like it's getting stickier and stickier the more I stretch it and it gets more and more stretchy. It's really fun. Oh my gosh. I don't really know if I'm supposed to like avoid my hair and stuff when I apply this, but whatever. Oh my God, how? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. How do you do it without it like ripping? Do I do it from the top? <laughs> Somehow don't think that's right. It looks like this chick's just doing it on her cheeks. Should I just do it on my cheeks? I feel like I'm not doing this right. This is not a good application, but it feels nice. It feels real warm and sticky. <laughs> like it's a really interesting texture. Okay. I feel like, oh, look at that. Oh no, it's still snapping a little. God, this feels so good. It's so warm guys. Like it feels like I'm having a face. You know when they put the hot towel all over your face? Like that's how it feels. Oh my God, what a mess. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to look guys. Let me just watch the video. I didn't watch enough of the video to see what it's supposed to look like. No wonder I'm freaking struggling. They've literally just got like a little ball of it on their cheeks. So like such an idiot right now. Even though it's like only half warm. You know what? We're gonna do this properly. I'm just an absolute idiot. I'm gonna leave this on until it's cold and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I just peeled it off. That was probably on for about five minutes or so, so it was very quick. Such a random product. Probably one of the most random masks I've ever tried in my entire life. But I have to say like, can you see like right here on my cheekbone? So you can see, I feel like I'm glowing and it feels so nice. It feels a little bit sticky, but in like a nice way, like kind of like when you put on moisturizer or something, like it feels good. So let's have a look through our trusty little microscope. Going straight onto that cheek. Let me just focus it. It looks glossy. Look, my skin literally looks glossy. If you compare there to maybe down here where I didn't put the mask, like you can see the lines on my skin much more just here. It is like a big pimple. Oops. And then once again, if we go back to the area where I did put the mask, like it looks very glossy and the lines, like the fine lines are much less obvious because the skin's more hydrated. So yeah, would I recommend that mask? It's fun. It's different. It's quite expensive for five minutes of fun, but it does like make my skin feel really good, look very good. Is it a different effect to what you're gonna get with just putting on some oil and moisturizer? Probably not. I feel like it is quite expensive for that one experience, but it is so fun. Like, I reckon this would be a very good gift idea for someone that loves skincare and beauty. I think that would be like the best thing for this product because it's real fun to do and it's something completely different. But is it something that you should add into your skincare routine all the time? I mean, who knows? My skin feels good, looks really nice. Let's just apply a little bit of moisturizer to our skin and we'll see like how everything looks because it does sound here to follow with moisturizer. Let's use the one that kind of came with it. So the Wasu, Wasu, how do you say it? I don't know. Clear Mega Hydrating Cream Beautiful Packaging. So stunning. And then this is how the packaging looks. It's very unique. Oh my gosh, the lid comes off. Oh, it looks like a friggin' gel. Oh, that's interesting. You guys know how much I love my gel um, moisturizer from <clears throat> Clinique. My voice is going somewhere. It looks clear. Let's just apply some. Oh, it's so cooling. It feels like a primer. Like it straight up feels like a pore filling primer or something, except it actually soaks into your skin. It doesn't just sit on the top. It feels real good. Mmm, smells good too. But it smells amazing. I feel like this would be very good for dry skin. 
like it really soaks in like immediately it feels so so my goodness let's have a look under that microscope one more time let's see how it looks you can see like from far away my skin looks very glowy and hydrated you know what like i do feel like the whole mask helps to get rid of a lot of dead skin because my nose feels so much softer now especially after moisturizing of course duh yeah like i said they're still not my favorite pore strips whatsoever i don't think they did a very good job in the close-up microscope i was gonna say microphone again i don't know what's wrong with me so let's have a look oh my god that texture before and after though is absolutely crazy holy shit like look how like buttery smooth and glossy my skin looks now like obviously this is freshly moisturized it's normal to have super fine lines in your skin when it's dehydrated I didn't moisturize before this video but you have to like oh wow it's crazy let's look around the sides of my nose as well making sure it's like perfectly in focus for you like you can still see where those little like black eddy things are like you can see them real good right there but like the actual skin texture oh, look at that one I just want to pop it the actual skin texture is just crazy different let's look at my forehead oh, my goodness oh, my god what happens if I like put it on a wrinkle <gasps> Look at that, that's my wrinkle. And around my eyes where I have fine lines, like, what does my eyelid look like where all my veins are? Ew, creepy. What does my eyebrow look like? I wish I knew how to like, ooh, look at, those are thick hairs, man. Oh, my eyebrows are so blonde. Obviously, um, there's a light in this. I don't actually think you can turn it off. So like, the actual texture of my skin, the moisturizer is reflecting that light. So that's why it looks so shiny. But like, I'm just shocked at how different the actual texture of my skin is like before there was just lines everywhere and now look at it it's so cool so obviously like my skin is feeling very hydrated right now the moisturizer does its job i do like the feeling of it it feels very luxurious and do you know what i feel like this would be a nice one before you make up because my skin feels a little bit stickyish do you know what i mean like when it feels like tacky which is like so nice before makeup so that could be a really good like daytime before you make up moisturizer or before you tinted my moisturizer blah, blah, blah. it feels really nice so I'll have to keep giving that a go. Specially formulated intensely hydrating clear cream with whole carrot cells immediately plumps, softens and nourishes your skin. Well, I think it definitely does that. My skin feels plump, like I said, kind of sticky and you can see for yourself like the lines vanished immediately. And it says um, it is perfect for the daytime for use under or over makeup. Over makeup, pardon? If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know if you would like to see some more with the microscope and maybe I can buy another microscope that's not as zoomed in so I can like show me popping my pimples and stuff. Is that gross? I don't know. You tell me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun filming this today. At least we found like one thing we really liked. One thing that's like kind of cool, kind of interesting and like I said, perfect for a gift. And then one thing that was kind of just like average if you do want to see me using biore pore strips or a different kind of pore strip in a video like this and showing what comes out of the pore strip on my microscope then make sure you thumbs up this video and comment below and let me know thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys in my next video